Computer Gamers Podcast, episode 15. I am Tyler, and with me every week, I have my internet best friend, Pat. What up, Fruits? Uh, MGP is our podcast show. I guess you can call it gaming podcast show, right, Pat? That's what we're calling it now. Dude, we, we fucking change it every two weeks. I, I mean, I was trying to stick with podcasts for a while. That just didn't work. I mean. It's, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, so, you, yeah. if you go up and go over the bend and take a left, and yeah. Well, hopefully your mic's uh, sounding good right now, louder. I think we fix it. A little technical problems, some levels. I had to change some levels. Yeah, because we're cool like that. Uh, I heard you got some news for me, though, Pat. You got some gamer news. Go ahead and start us off with some gamer news. Um, well, last week, um, Black Ops Resurrection map, the one spelled with a Z. Yeah. To make you a tool bag, huh. came out with uh, some new... It, it's the old maps with, like, one new one or something, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I haven't downloaded it yet. Huh. So... I get nothing on it. Um, I guess the moon one's actually like on the moon, and it's like gravity comes into effect, and like uh, the Avenged Sevenfold Night, Avenged Sevenfold song Nightmares in it. Only reason I'm considering getting it, but for twenty bucks. Meh. And you're a huge um, enthusiast, of, enthusiast of the moon. Yes, I I love the moon. I stare at it every night, and I go up there occasionally, and we hang out, and you know, you know, I hang out with the Decepticons up there, and we just chill and have a good time. Decepticons, what, what? Um, what else you got for me? Uh, oh, yeah, game releases. What's coming out this year? What's, the, what's coming out in uh, September? Um, Dead Island, big one, coming Ooh, out. Yeah, I, uh, have you seen anything about that game? Have you checked it out? I've seen some, like, videos and stuff. Nothing really. Just seeing it kind of like pictures. It seems more of a... It's almost like Left 4 Dead, but, like, the, the, it's more of, like, a hands-on, not like a... People describe like it to me as... Melee. A, yeah, first, a first-person Dead Rising and a little bit of Borderlands. Because, you know, in Dead Rising, how you can put objects together and make them into new weapons? Yeah, you well, can, I never... Uh, really well, I didn't play it either, but I, I I know I remember watching gameplay and, like, hearing people talk about video. it on podcasts. But I guess you can do that in Dead Island also. And there's, like, a little bit of a Borderlands feel where you, there's a bunch of different stuff to use and there's, like, XP that pops up and stuff like that. So you get points and you level up your guy or your girl? Oh, well, I mean, I, I don't know much about it. I've only seen, you know, clips and, you know, not really clips, a few of them here and there, some pictures and whatnot. Yeah. So. It, lo it looks okay. It, it looks okay. I, I want You know what I want? I wanted a zombie experience that is like Fallout or uh, like Red Dead Redemption, uh, Undead Nightmare. That was a cool zombie like thing because you can just dick around and go out and fight, like hold off at a, at a place and just fight zombies. So I want a little yeah. bit of that free roam effect, kind of like Fallout, but I want missions also. And I, I don't, I, not too many games. Some games have gotten close to it, like Undead Nightmare and and uh, what is the other one? Uh, Fallout did something kind of like zombies. They were like mutants and stuff, but it was it was pretty cool. What it, I mean, it's it looks like it's a big open RPG Dead Island, and it looks like it's gonna be fun. The thing I saw that didn't I didn't like was the weapons don't seem like they do too much damage. Yeah, um, I'm not really sure on anything on that. Like, uh, it, it looks like it might take a few hits, but yeah. then again, in real life, you're not going to crack a fucking zombie skull. Open. You're not. I am. Watch me do it. Yeah, yeah. okay. I'll fuck a zombie bear. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, we went to Sportsman's Warehouse uh, here in town, and guess what I got to dick around with? What? A 50 caliber fucking uh, rifle and a, uh, and a scar. They clearly don't know you yet. Heavy or light? <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was pretty. Uh, the 50 cal was not as heavy as I thought it would be. No, no, like the scar. Oh, was it scar. the heavy version? No, the it's the light version. It's the uh, okay, lighter. It's only, it only goes semi-auto too, because only the military can have full auto. Well, at least, and I don't know. I thought Alaska was fucking no holds bar. No. But uh, that you can't get a full auto. You can get a semi-auto, and they only wanted like 2,400 bucks for it though. But it's actually not that bad for a worth it. Thing. Scar for a dope ass scar. Yeah, that's um, exactly like the one from Call of Duty. Same color. All right, um, I'm boarding a plane now. <laughs> I'll be there shortly. The 50 caliber was cool too. Well, what, well, what kind of gun was it again? 50 cal what? 50 BMG, I think it was what it's called. Big motherfucker. Rifle. Gun. <laughs> rifle, handgun. I mean, this. It was a cal, rifle. Everything. It was a rifle. Bolt. Oh, okay. It looks like it was. It looks like it, it looked like it was bolt action actually too. I have a picture. Maybe I'll upload it for right now, and I'll show you guys. Let's see if I can find it on my phone. But I'll, I'll try to put it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, the rounds. You got like 10 rounds for like 70 bucks. Wow, that's not bad. And then the uh, the 45 rounds, which I was going to pick up, 
they're like uh, it's like 40 43 bucks for a box of 100 which isn't too bad because usually they're about 18 to 20 bucks a piece anyways mm. depending on the brand usually i mean winchester charges like 33 dollars for 50 they're like the most expensive but they're like 230 grain and shit like that so it's what as might um what else what else comes out in september though because there's another game that lewis is really um, excited for and i'm kind of excited for uh body count <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> um, Madden, Driver, fucking, I, I don't. There's one you're missing. Watch. I know. I can't fucking think of the name. Of it. It's got a, it's got a G and uh, an E and an A, maybe an R and an S and an O and an F and, and, a, and a W and an A A and an R and a, a number three. No. Do you wanna you wanna name off anything else? I mean, it's got so I I, I I don't know what else. I, I think I think I spelled all the title right there for you. Go go ahead, do it again. No, that's not it's not funny the second time. I'd have to do it one more time after that. The rule of three in comedy, you have to do it three times for it to be really funny. No. No, it's the rule of comedy. <laughs> you see it the first time, it's kind of a giggle. The second time, it's like eh, and then the third time's hilarious. Okay. It's the rule on. of three in comedy. Anyways, Gears of War three comes out, guys. Lewis is really excited for it. Pat, are you excited at all? Oh. Um, sort of. I mean, I'm not really a huge fan of the Giz, like, you know, franchise. I mean, it's a great game. I just suck online. Me too. I don't. I can't do third person. I can do, like, horde mode and stuff, but third person, all that rolling around and all that bullshit, I, I, I can't play. It reminds me of, like, a Halo kind of thing. Like, where, yeah, you know, it's, it's weird to me. Oh, I saw a, uh, not to completely get off subject, but I saw a trailer for... Oh, it's a little preview of the Halo Combat Evolved 10th Anniversary or whatever. I don't look. I haven't seen it. It looks exactly like Halo Reach. That's all it is. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the same engine, but they changed up. They changed up some subtle. They changed up the multi. Dude, it's Halo Reach. It, it, that's all it is. <laughs> huh. It's fucking jetpacks and all the speed boost things and. I don't know. See, I don't it's... know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'll get it. I might get it because I love the. I played the first Halo so fucking much. It wasn't even funny. But yeah. I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna get this one i might eventually but i don't see i mean it's just another way for them to kind of make the cash in one you know once more on this game and it's it's cashing in on people's nostalgia for the game yeah that's all it is i mean fucking i'm not i don't think i'm, I'm no I, I don't want to rip against halo because i i do like halo i'm not uh, i'm okay online with it i'm a lot better at call of duty than i am halo and uh even then still mediocre <laughs> uh what what oh yeah movies what comes out for movies is uh this week, you know? I have no fucking clue. I know, I know Conan came out last week. I heard um, it didn't do that well. That, no, the fucking, there's nothing to it. Like, it's just, ooh, let's take a movie that Schwarzenegger did. Change this it. guy from, but, but, Stargate Atlantis or some shit like that? I have no fucking like idea. Star uh, fucking, what else Fright was Night there? came uh, out. Fright Night I heard was really good. Yeah, I've, Com I've heard, I heard it. Yeah, I heard, sorry, I didn't mean... The dialogue I heard was kind of, like, uh, stale, but everything else was kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it, I don't know. It just... It, if it interests you, great. <laughs> I, I mean, it doesn't look that awesome to me. Did you watch the original? No. See, you and Lou haven't seen the original, and I love the original. I saw that as a kid, and it scared the shit out of me, and it was an awesome movie. No, there was one. Yeah, the original is from the 80s, and it's awesome. Yeah, all right. But, um, coming out this week... Oh, actually, no. Fucking scratch that. I forgot what week we're releasing this episode. <laughs> so Coming out um, soon. Yeah. So two weeks ago, Conan came out. <laughs> um, uh, recently, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Spy Kids, Conan, Fright Night, Smurfs, Final Destination 5. Fucking franchise should have I heard that one actually got rated well. It got like a 7 out of 10 on IMDb somehow. Yeah, and it made all like, the fucking new generation of morons that don't understand that the four other movies weren't that great. <laughs> the first one was cool, I, except for the end, and it's like, eh, this is kind of boring. How many times can you really try and kill off people in this weird fucking event? It's a, it's saw, it's torture porn, kind of. It's that great. It, it hits that vein where I want to see somebody get hurt graphically, and I want to go, oh, that's a bad, and then I want to keep watching. Yeah. It's then, that, uh... that blood sport need. 30 minutes or less. I heard that was pretty funny. Me too. Um, there was a trailer premiere for Underworld Awakening. I have not seen it yet. I'm going to watch looks... it when we're done. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. 
Um, we should watch it together. Was... No. Oh. And I saw a trailer for Ghost Rider 2. Yeah, uh, Spirit of Vengeance. You know what? I had no fucking faith in this movie. Now I have some faith. Yeah, I was going to say, until now. It, the trailer looked cool. The CGI looked really good, actually. Did you notice that? Yeah, it looked so much better than it did in the first yeah, movie. Yeah, it looked The first really movie was like, hey, let's get a skull here and just like, kind of put some flame around it. This time, it's like fucking... His boots are like fucking melted and ashy. His jacket's all fucked up. It's, there's like a lot more definition to the flame and the face. It looks really fucking cool. Yeah, this looks like such a... Like, it almost looks like it almost would have been like a reboot. It's yeah, like if they rebooted it and did it better. Yeah, I mean, it looks really good, so... Still got the ca still got some cage rage in there, though. The cager. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe he's still fucking putting on movies. <laughs> I don't know if that's not his real hair. That can't be his real hair. <laughs> Oh no, he's pulling a Travolta and wearing a wig. He's got <laughs> it keeps his hairline goes back and forth, back and forth. It changes every movie. I mean, he's got this the, like the best comb ever dude in the world. <laughs> oh, I'm, just, I'm kind of a book protector. I'm still young. <laughs> um, okay, so we got a question. I I bitched last week that nobody sent any questions. Luckily, some of our friends, some of our subs, put in uh, asked a couple questions. Murph asked one. He asked what our most embarrassing story has to do uh, involving a penis. And I think I already told that one about the girl who threw up on me when she was giving me a BJ. <laughs> and uh, I, I have no experience like that, dude. Yeah, because you're not hungry. I mean, the most embarrassing crap. one I can have is when uh, I was ba in the back of a mall. Yeah, you were. Getting head in the parking lot and cop. a cop pulled up. I think we've all been I mean, there. <laughs> like, the cop pulls up and, like, your instant reaction is lean as forward as possible and look over. <laughs> it's like, while well, you try and get situated. And they always got, like, the flashlight, and they're always looking around. And right it's spot. like, dude. And it's like, please don't ask me to get out right now. Please. I got to tuck it up into my waistband. It's not good. Uh, the the other question we got was uh, from Kawasaki Poner. And you guys should check out his channel. I'm going to put a link for it right now. He's a pretty cool guy. He plays on PlayStation mainly, I think. And I think he switched over to Xbox. So he, he switched uh, religions, basically. Uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of like that. The fight, the feud between them, kind of like the Muslims and the Christians, been going like the Crusades. <laughs> I'm not gonna say which that's yeah, stuff. Yeah, I hate he, both. He plays both, and if I'm correct, it's majestic. He's on my friends list. He's a cool dude. Check him out, guys. Uh, his question was, "What's our best day ever?" And uh, Pat, do you have a best day ever? Because I'm, well, me and Pat are kind of morose people. I think it's kind of the. We don't, I mean, I don't hold on to a lot of stuff. I just said that I don't know the meaning of that word, but because you said it, I know the meaning like, of oh, that word. like, ah, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just context, like, it's like, oh, okay, that's, so that's what it means. Yeah. The, you do, uh, I do that with a lot of words, so you hear them in context, sounds a lot better. But uh, do you have a best day ever, yeah. quickly? No. You don't? Never. Never had uh, a best day. What was one of your, what was one of your favorite days you've ever had? Like, a good day? Um, Going to the beach and getting laid, or... Getting laid. I think one of three some at my cousin's house was pretty fun. My <laughs> my best day I think was a uh, Fourth of July. A couple of, like uh, when I just turned 17, I uh, went to we swam all day at the canal in the back of this rice field where they pump a bunch of water from this lake and shoot it out through like these super like fast uh, jets and everything, and they put, push it to the rice field so the farmers can use it. And we went swimming all day, drank all goddamn day. It was awesome. Then later that night, one of the girls I was talking to came over, hung out at the. Uh, at the uh, canal with us. Then we went into the. Yeah, I'm sure she did. <laughs> we went to the football field. We went to the football field and watched the fireworks. So they shoot them like right above you, like maybe a hundred feet in the air, and they just land almost on you. That's really cool. We did that and uh, drove her home. And it's something about fireworks for the ladies. And then I got a, I got a, a little blow jay. <laughs> it took and then she forty threw minutes. Up on me. Yeah, what? No, it took forty minutes though. So that was kind of weird. Eh, I mean, I've had great experiences and whatnot. So I don't know. Why don't, you, <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you go ahead and take us out, take us out, Pat? Thank you guys for joining us, as always. Oh well, thank you guys for joining us, as always, um, prick. Take <laughs> us out, Pat, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Uh, please remember to like, favorite, sub, whatever the fuck you guys want to do. Tell a friend. Leave a comment. Let us know. Tell a friend. That actually tell worked. Your we had, mother. We had, we had Murph to tell a friend, and it worked. Cause Murph's fucking awesome. Say hello to your mother for me. All right, Tyler, take us out of here. MGP. It's not rape. We're just loving you into submission. <laughs>